This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is all on igneous petrology. So I'm going to go through the uh, 15 igneous rocks that are in this box, this sample, and look at each one more uh, in detail individually with the characteristics, whether it's volcanic or plutonic versus felsic and mafic, to get a better idea and better knowledge of each rock to add to the understanding of how igneous rocks shape our landscape, both on the ocean floor and in the continents. We are starting with pegmatite, a intrusive igneous rock, it's felsic, very coarse, very phenolitic. You can see the visible crystals in this rock. And here we have our very common igneous rock, which is granite. It's intrusive, it's phenolitic, smaller crystals and coarse, and of course it's felsic. Next is an intrusive rock that's very similar to granite, but less silica. It is cyanite, it is intermediate, and mostly feldspar. We're going to stay with the intermediate felsic intrusive igneous rocks. This one is anorthosite, which again is awesome because it's found on the lunar surface of the moon. Next is gabbro. So this is our first mafic, more denser igneous rock. It's still intrusive, but it's coarse and has a mixture of minerals like peroxine, olivine and plagioclase. This is our first sample of an extrusive igneous rock formed from coolant lava, a lot quicker, so it gives a certain texture and characteristics, and this rock in particular is porphyry. This rock has a great example of very large, uh, obvious phenocris within the porphyry texture. This is trachyte, another extrusive igneous rock. Here we have our classic and very common extrusive igneous rock, more mafic, which is basalt, which is the equivalent of gabbro, but extrusive. Here is the non-porphyry, just regular rhyolite, our extrusive igneous rocks, a equivalent of granite, but extrusive formed from cooling lava. So andesite is formed from cooling lava. It is more of an intermediate lava in terms of silica percentage, and in between both basalt and rhyolite. So this is tough. It is equivalent to both pitchstone and obsidian and pumice. It's felsic and it's formed from the compaction of volcanic fragments out of an eruption. This is our classic extrusive lava that's cooled very quickly. It's obsidian. It appears black due to the addition of smaller minerals like amagnetite and biotite into the lava. The extrusive rock pitchstone, which is cooled lava very quickly, the intrusive equivalent is granite, and it can appear also prophoritic. Next we have pumice, which is much like tuff. It is full of air pockets. It is ejected fragments cooled from volcanic eruptions, so it's extrusive, and it means foam. Next is scoria, again another vesicular uh, igneous extrusive rock, more mafic, but it means rust. Uh, and it is non-crystalline. Thanks for watching. Please check out more of these videos on igneous petrology where we look at more depth on each rock and compare and contrast textures and characteristics.